Hello friends, today we will be doing Math Kangaroo level 5 and 6, which is the Benjamin level, year 2011. We will be doing question number 21, 22 and 23. Uh, these are five pointer problems. So let's start with uh, 21. There are 10 pupils in a dance class. Their teacher has 80 jelly beans. After she gives the same number of jelly beans to each of the girls in the class, there are seven jelly beans left over. How many boys are there in the class? So they're saying there are 10 students and total jelly beans are 80. So the teacher gives these 80 jelly beans to the to each of the girls and there are th three jelly beans left over. So total uh, jelly beans that has been distributed So you do 80 minus 3, which is 77. Now, there are 10 students, so you can't really divide. Like if you see, you can't divide 77 by 10. So that's not my answer. You can't divide it by 9 or I can't divide it by 8. You can divide 77 by 7 without any remainder. So what we understand is there are 7 girls out of 10 students. So the number of boys will be three. Okay. Um, let's move on. Let's move on to question number 22. A cat has seven differently colored kittens, a white, a black, a red, a black and white, a red and white, black and red, and a white, black and red. How many ways are there to put these four kittens in a basket so that to put four kittens in a basket so that every pair in the basket has at least one color in common? So total number of kittens that I have are seven. So let's just write this. So suppose I write one is white, two is black, three is red, say Four is black and white. Five is red and white. Six is black and red. And seven is white, black and red. Now the question says that in how many ways are there to put four kittens in a basket? So out of seven, I'm going to put four kittens in a basket but that every pair in the basket has at least one color in common. So any pair, like for example, let's take the first pairing. Suppose I take one and four. Suppose I take one and four. So in one and four, you have the first white, black and white. So in this pair, you have the white common and I take two and seven, okay? You take two and seven. So what colors do we have? I have a black, let's just write it carefully. I have a black and number seven is white, black and red. So now these are two pairs. Now if we see, like between these two pairs, white and white are common. Like now, it, if we see between these two pairs, black and black are, uh, black is common. If I see between these two pairs, like this is one pair and this is another pair. So if we check between them, white and white are common here, black and black are common. If we uh, do these two, then again, you have a white and white or black and black common. This and this black and black common, white and white common. So that every pair in the basket in the basket has at least one color in common. So if we look at the pairing, so the options could be one and four, and the other pair is two and seven. If you look at the other option, three and five, and then you have four and six, then you have one and five, and three and six, and one and five, and three and seven. So the possible options 
uh, or in how many ways can I put the four kittens in a basket? So it'll be option number C, which is three, uh, which is four. Let's go to question number 23. The picture shows four identical. It's talking about four identical right angle triangles inside a rectangle. What is the total area of the four triangles? Uh, okay, now let's find the area of the four triangles. So now they are saying the picture shows four identical right angles inside the uh, tri right angle triangles inside a rectangle. What is the total area? Now, if you look at this, now this is they have given you this. So this side is uh, perpendicular or totally parallel to this side. So the area of a triangle is half into base into height, right? So if you take this as the height, so you have that as 40. Now I need to find the base, which is this or this or this or this. Now, if you look at these triangles, now, now if this is 14, then this will also be 14 and this will also be 14. And this whole length is 30. Like if you draw this whole thing, this is 30. Now out of that, if we break it up, we know until here it is 14. We know until here it is 14. So 14 plus 14 is 28. So this area that remains will be 30 minus 2, which is 28. So this is 2. Therefore, my base is 2 centimeters. So if I solve it, so area of one triangle is 14 centimeters square. And we have four such triangles. So total area will be 4 into 14, which is 56 centimeters square. So my answer will be option B, 56 centimeters square. I hope you liked my video. Do subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.